Okay, so we have some expression here and we want to factor it. And I'm telling you, this is advanced factoring. Well, you know, uh, this word advanced, you know, that's going to be kind of a relative term. You know, some of you might think that this is you know, pretty easy. Others of you might think, no, this is kind of advanced. It's certainly beyond what you are probably used to doing, you know, when you're in basic algebra, you're factoring out greatest uh, common factor, trinomials. But basically, once you get really good at basic factoring, uh, polynomial factoring in algebra, then you need to kind of continue on and use uh, what you know in creative ways to be able to factor something like this. And I'm going to show you exactly what to do here. But one thing about factoring is um, we can factor this expression under the set of real numbers. Okay, I'm going to show you what this is uh, all about here in a second. Or we can factor this under the set of complex numbers. And depending on how advanced you want to go, I'm going to show you actually both situations. Um, you know, you'll come up with more of a uh, detailed answer. Okay, but factoring is absolutely uh, critical for your success in algebra. So if you think you can um, factor this, certainly pause the video, use this as a little pop quiz, see what you, uh, you come up with. But I think most of you are kind of looking at this and go, this kind of looks like something I know. All right, and I'm going to show you what that is, what you're probably thinking you know, in the right way, but we need to use what you're probably thinking about. I'm just making a guess that some of you are like, this kind of looks like something that I'd, I've done at a more basic uh, level, but uh, you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in just one second. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher, and over several years, I've constructed what I like to believe is one of the best online math help programs there is. Basically, I have 100 plus math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between. I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking an exam and it has math on it, I likely have a preparation course for that. So we're talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, a teacher certification exam, CLEP exam, ACCUPLACER. I can go on and on and on. There's tons of exams here that people have to take that have math on them. So just go to my website, by the way, you can find the link to my math help program. I um, just looking in, in the description of the video. I also have a, a great homeschool uh, program with my math courses. So if you homeschool, you might want to check that out. Now, obviously, I help those of you who are having a tough time in your current math courses. But uh, I must stress to you, if you are a student, always look at your notes. Okay, that's going to be a good clue on how well you're going to do in uh, mathematics. So if your notes aren't great or awesome, then you want to improve them. Okay, I've been teaching math for decades. Those students who have excellent math notes almost always do very, very well, and the reverse is true as well. So you can use my notes to study from if you like. Uh, I'm going to leave links to those in the description as well. All right, so let's get into this. Okay, so I told you um, that likely a lot of you out there are like, yeah, I think I kind of know what to do. Is it this thing? Well, I told you that there was probably, you know, a lot of you were thinking in the right way. So you're looking at this and you're probably thinking, is this like a difference of two squares, this a squared minus b squared? And here's the formula for it, right? So let's use a simpler kind of problem. If I had like x squared minus 81, okay, I could use this formula. So if you're thinking, if you looked at that and look, the pattern looks similar to you, and I'm assuming uh, most of you out there um, have done, you know, the difference of two squared. This is a special factoring rule. Now, if you have not done this, then this video is going to be a little bit you know, maybe confusing uh, for you. But we're, this, again, then we're talking about basic, you know, algebra one uh, type of factoring. Now, I might say basic factoring, but really factoring is not that basic, but it is like one of the most critical uh, skills that you need to master to be successful in algebra. As a matter of fact, if you cannot factor or if you're very poor in factoring, you are unfortunately not going to be able to pass Algebra 1. Okay, so this problem that we're talking about here is something you might encounter in Algebra 1 and uh, certainly beyond, okay, because I could um, take this factoring situation and set this equal to zero. Now I have a, a polynomial equation with four solutions. Okay, but you know, we're not doing that because I want to just focus in on the factoring. Okay, so yes, I'm going to tell you right now, we're going to be using this formula to factor this, but we got to be a little creative about it. So if you want to kind of play around with it, like how could you use this to solve this? Because this is 
a, a variable to the fourth power, these are this is a variable to the second power. Well, we can use substitution, all right? So this is how we do this. So let's go over here and take a look at this. What if I said let x equal is equal to a, a u squared, okay? So we're talking about substitution. Now, if x is equal to u squared, and I square both sides here, I get x squared, and I get u to the fourth, okay? So I'm going to say let x is equal to uh, u squared, so x squared is equal to u to the fourth. So these are two uh, kind of equivalencies I can make, and this is going to be able to help me out. So now I'm going to show you exactly how this is going to work. So u to the fourth, all right, what was u to the fourth uh, equal to? Well, u to the fourth is the same thing as x squared here with my little substitution, okay? So instead of u to the fourth, I'm going to plug in x squared. And the reason I did that is uh, I can now use this formula, okay? I can use the difference of two squares. And let's go down here. So this is uh, x squared minus 81. So I can write that now. I can factor this as x squared uh, times, I'm sorry, x plus uh, 9 times x minus 9, all right? So this is how this factors because x squared minus 81 is the same thing as x squared minus 9 squared, right? And we just follow the formula, okay, right up here, okay? And this is uh, how we factor the difference of two squares. So if you, again, if you're not familiar with this in this formula, or this video is probably a little bit too complicated for you at this stage, I would recommend going, uh, checking out my videos in my algebra playlist on the difference of two squares just to warm up to it. But, you know, we're talking about stuff you absolutely must need to know. This is not trivial stuff. This is all part of your uh, factoring uh, toolkit that you must have. All right, so I think most of you out there probably understand. Okay, x squared minus uh, 81. I can factor as uh, x plus 9 times x minus 9. But this is, you know, this problem here is this problem, okay? We're only, you know, kind of using substitution, but we got to solve the original problem, which is u to the fourth minus 81. All right, so what can I do now? Well, I have x plus 9 and x minus 9. I have these x's. So remember, I said, let's let x equal to u squared. Hmm, okay, so let's go ahead now and replace these x's with u squared because x is equal to u squared. And this is how you can factor using substitution. All right, so instead of x, it's going to be u squared plus 9. And that's going to be multiplied by uh, u squared minus 9. All right, so here now I'm writing this with our u's. So this is a difference of 2 squared. This is, we're adding right here. This is u squared plus 9. So I can't use the difference of 2 squares here, but I can use it here. u squared minus 9, I can factor as u plus, um, uh, u uh, minus 3, excuse me, times u plus 3. That being multiplied by u squared plus 9, and I am done. Okay, so I factored this uh, using or under the set of real numbers. So this would be our answer. So if you got this right, okay, I must uh, go ahead and give you a nice happy face and an A plus and a good old 1985 Mohawk. All right, very, very good. Matter of fact, we'll throw in a couple stars. So yes, if I told you to factor this under the set of real numbers, this would be the case. However, some of you might be saying, no, 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 uh, Mr. Mathman, you can also factor this and you are right. Okay, you're definitely onto something. We can factor this, however, not under the set of real numbers. We're gonna have to go into the set of complex numbers. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay, again, this answer would be correct under the set of real numbers, but let's uh, go ahead and continue. Okay, with the complex numbers. So u squared plus 9, I can use a difference of two squares again, a minus b squared. Okay, so that's going to be equal to what? a plus b times a minus b. But now I'm going to have to do, a, I'm going to have to fix this up. All right, so u squared plus 9 is the same thing as u squared minus a minus 9. Okay, so you can hopefully see that algebra because minus, minus 9 is positive 9. So I'm writing that here, so I have uh, the difference of two squares. This is a squared, so that would be like my u squared, minus b squared, so that is my negative nine, all right? Now, to use this formula, I need to take the, squ uh, the square root of a squared and square root of b squared. So the square root of a squared, of course, is a. The square root of b squared, of course, is b, and then we can use this formula. 
So u squared, the square root of uh, u squared is, of course, u. And now I have negative 9. What is the square root of negative 9? It is positive negative 3i. Now, if you don't understand this right here, you need to uh, learn imaginary numbers, which is part of uh, complex numbers. Again, we're in a complex number system now. So if you don't understand this, then maybe you haven't studied this yet, but that the square root of negative 9 is positive negative 3i. Okay, so now I can go ahead and this is like my a squared minus my b squared. And here I have a minus b times a plus b. You can just see the pattern here of the formula. So this is u minus 3i times u plus 3i. Okay, so this is what this right here is factored into this under the set of complex numbers, but we can't forget those other factors that we had. So we can write, here was our other factors uh, from uh, when we we're working with the real numbers. Now here, we continued on and factored with the complex numbers. So this is our entire answer, okay? Now, what's the benefit of this? Well, remember our original problem was u to the fourth minus 81, okay? And we factor that, okay? But if I set this equal to zero and I said, solve this polynomial equation, well, this polynomial equation would have four solutions, okay? Now, this is something we call the fundamental theorem of algebra. And I was able to factor this down. Now, I could set each one of these factors, okay? If this is an equation, I could set each one of these factors equal to zero and solve for u. And I would have all of my solutions right here, okay? And of course, we can see that's gonna be positive negative three i and positive and negative three all together, I have four solutions. So if you got this right, even up to this point, then wow, you are definitely on fire as a math student. Matter of fact, let's go ahead and give you an awesome 1985 flat top, okay? I know I, if you watch my videos, I talk about mohawks. That was a pretty cool haircut. You don't see these haircuts around. It's probably a good thing. You know, when you're young, that looks pretty cool, but I certainly wouldn't wear one of those. But the flat top haircut was a pretty cool haircut. I could go ahead and congratulate you with that and 100%. Matter of fact, if you were my math student in my math class, I might just tell you to take the rest of the year off. I'm like, well, you definitely know this. You must be watching that guy on YouTube or something because, you know, you definitely seem to know what you're doing. All right, so again, whether you want to think of this as advanced factoring is certainly factoring, but you know we have to keep in mind when we are factoring anything, what you know under what uh, uh, set of numbers we're factoring. Okay, first start off with the real numbers, and then as you progress, you'll uh, have to understand how to factor under the complex numbers as well. Okay, all right. So hopefully this video was helpful for you, and if that is the case, please consider smashing a like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus videos, basic to advanced math on my website, all there for you. So if you like my teaching style, you can learn a ton from me. I'm posting new stuff all the time as well. Um, but of course, my best math help will be within my math help program. All right. So with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.